Hi, my name is Brian Smith. I'm a resident of Upper Darby District, and I'm running for councilman at large. I'm running for councilman at large because I want to help bridge the gap between the citizens as well as the council as it relates to issues that face Upper Darby District residents. I believe I can do that because I've been in business for the last 15 to 20 years as it relates to human resources, and so I've been able to bring both sides of the aisles together to have open com communication as well as negotiate and figure out the best route forward. I don't believe so much in who's right and who's wrong. I believe in what's right and what's wrong. And so I'm going to be looking to push for that, and I'm going to be looking for your help to support me in doing so. As any candidate, there are a couple of items that are important to anyone as it relates to trying to run for council, and I'm no different. So I just want to take a moment to share with you a couple of those items that are important to me. First and foremost, the relationship as it relates to law and order. I know there's been a lot of issues and there's been some concerns about the relationship between the citizens as well as the police. And I do believe that the relationship can be improved, but I believe it can be improved on both sides. One way is police to police the neighborhood more so. Oftentimes, I think when we see the police, we see them possibly doing arrest or we see them in such a negative light. Our police are the best. And I believe that if they are able to push the needle forward as it relates to policing, actually getting into the neighborhoods, shaking hands, talking with people, they'll be better served. If you think about it, do you know your local police officers? But I'm sure your mothers and your grandparents do know their local police officers. So we want to make sure that the police these days are policing even more so. On the other side, I want to make sure that citizens are actually reacting to police appro appropriately as well. Oftentimes I have seen that when there is an issue, the police are there to de-escalate, but sometimes citizens may escalate it at times for whatever particular reason. That's nor here nor there. I want to see a, an appropriate response from the citizens. So I believe that if citizens respond appropriately and police do better policing, I think together we can come together and have a better relationship as it relates to that. The other piece that I want to talk about is um, incentivizing businesses to hire locally. I believe that Upper Darby District has a lot of room for growth as it relates to business, and I believe there's a lot of residents who want to uh, become employed or even gain greater employment. And I think the way to do that, not only via small businesses and large businesses, is to incentivize them. Well, how do you do that? You can do that through things such as the Work Opportunity Tax Credit that many um, uh, businesses may not be aware of. Also, we can bring back the um, Economic Development Committee that um, has gone away recently, but I believe we can bring that back and we can uh, make it more robust and, again, incentivize people to hire locally. Therefore, when, when people have jobs, then crime typically comes down and we start to see an improvement in the neighborhood across the board. So with your help, I'm asking that you help me to get elected into the councilman at large position. Please uh, look to vote for me on November 7th, and I just ask for your uh, vote, and I look forward to working with you. Have a good one.